car insurance mistakes you must avoid. In this video, car insurance mistakes you must avoid, we're diving deep into the world of auto insurance and uncovering eight critical mistakes people often make. Plus, we'll reveal how to make informed decisions to save you money and ensure you have the right coverage for your needs. Don't miss this essential guide to avoid common car insurance pitfalls and make the best choices for you and your loved ones. After watching this video, share your thoughts in the comments. Are you ready to secure the perfect coverage? Are you about to make a potentially life-altering decision before you even think about buying car insurance? You must watch this video. Today, we're delving deep into the world of car insurance, and we're focusing primarily on auto coverage. You see, there are not one, not two, but eight crucial mistakes that unsuspecting individuals often make when they step into the realm of car insurance. From horrifying accidents to financial nightmares, these pitfalls can impact not just your car, but your entire life. But knowledge is power, and by the end of this video, you'll be armed with the wisdom to protect yourself and your loved ones. Mistake number eight, not knowing the coverage. When it comes to insurance, the first thing on your mind is usually getting a better price. There's a common desire even when salespeople teach you the ropes. Customers always seek a better deal, but what many overlook are the added benefits that come with it. Now here's the deal, if you get into an accident or need to file a claim just shopping around without knowing what coverage you need can be a real mess. You'll end up comparing quotes that aren't apples to apples. Plus, you might miss out on essential extras like towing and road service. Some insurers offer it, some don't. Rental car coverage? Sure, but how much are they giving you daily? 50 bucks or just 30? Remember this, it is preferable to choose the lower amount because you're willing to pay a bit more when renting a car. Claims are rare for me, see? So these are the things you should be thinking about. Do you even need towing or are you considering a AAA membership? There's a lot to learn about these coverages. Now, one of the main things people tend to overlook is not understanding what they're really looking for, so let's break it down. Ask yourself, what do I want in my ideal insurance policy? Do you need towing, road service, or rental car coverage? How about gap insurance, a savings bank that's also called a vanishing deductible? Maybe even cash back, some companies give you 2-5% back every 6 months to a year if you have no claims. Sure, you'll pay a bit more for these extras, but if you're saving money while getting these coverages, it might be worth it in the long run. You'll get that money back eventually. Here's the secret. With certain companies, you might only pay an extra 100 to 150 bucks a year, but they'll give you 120 back. So in essence, you're only shelling out a couple of dollars a month for things like accident forgiveness, claims-free renewals, and other cool benefits like upgraded towing and road service and original equipment parts, not the off-brand ones. Especially if you've got a top-notch car like a Toyota, Lexus, or Mercedes, you'll want these original parts. Keep in mind that not all policies are created equal, but it's good to know what options are out there and whether companies can meet your specific needs. Mistake 7. Discounts and Savings It may seem simple, but there's a whole lot more to it. Especially when we talk about discounts, we're going to break it down for you, so you understand which discounts you can get now and in the future. So when we talk about discounts in the context of car insurance, we mean ways you can pay less for your insurance. Here are a few things that can make it happen. Your driving history. If you've been a good driver with no accidents or traffic trouble, you might get a discount. Your vehicle. Some cars are less risky to insure like the ones with safety stuff like airbags that can save you some bucks how you use your car. If you don't drive too much or you use your car for work, you might get a discount. Bundling. If you get a different kinds of insurance from the same company like car and home insurance, they might give you a discount. Your affiliations. Some insurance companies give discounts to special groups like military people, students, or alumni clubs. But wait, there's more. Some companies offer extra discounts for things like anti-theft gadgets in your car or taking defensive driving course. To know which discounts you qualify for, check your car insurance policy carefully. You can also ask your insurance agent about any other discounts you might be able to snag. Now you're on your way to saving some cash on your insurance. Mistake 6. Not asking enough questions When you're getting insurance, whether it's for your home or your cars, there are a lot of details to consider. You need to know things like the size of your house, the types of cars you have, who drives them, and who lives with you. These questions might seem like a lot and sometimes people just want to know the final cost without really understanding what they're getting into. So whether you're talking to an insurance agent in person or doing it online, don't rush through the process. 
It might take a little extra time, but it's important to really grasp what you're getting into. If you're working with an experienced agent, they should take the time to educate you. The main goal in every insurance conversation is to make sure you understand three things. What you're buying, the benefits it provides, and if it meets your expectations in terms of value. This whole approach is about selling based on value. It's all about figuring out what's important to you and what you find valuable. Then we can tailor the policy to include things that will benefit you now and in the future. So don't rush through it. Take your time and make sure you're getting the right insurance for you. Hey, before we continue, we want you to know that we're always making new content. So make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. Mistake 5 Calling Multiple Companies This step holds significant importance. When it comes to finding insurance, a traditional method is contact various insurance companies. If you've got a list of recommended companies, you should definitely pick up your phone or visit their websites to get a quote. These actions are very likely to provide you with the most suitable insurance options. Mistake 5 Buying What's Cheapest when you're buying insurance, don't just go for what seems cheapest. This relates back to our earlier point, choosing solely based on the price tag. Keep in mind that insurance isn't a one-size-fits-all deal. You can make a fair comparison only if you know your current coverage and are happy with it. But here's the twist, life changes. You might move, buy a new car, get married, or even get a traffic ticket. All of these things can shake things up. The insurance company that's perfect for you today might not be tomorrow. So there are various options out there. When you're switching from company A to company B, sure, make sure the agent isn't taking advantage of you. But don't focus on price alone. Agents know people want a great deal and they'll work hard to get you one. But that doesn't mean you should slash your coverage to save a few bucks. Mistake 3. Buying higher deductibles. When people consider insurance, the next approach they often go for involves opting for higher deductibles. This practice is quite common and it's something that has been experimented with and tested by many in the insurance business. This happened during a time when they were in a bit of a tough spot striving to sell whatever they could. They would have lengthy talks with potential customers who didn't seem fully engaged probably because the salespeople were throwing in some unusual and made up information to make things interesting. For instance, during these conversations, they might discuss coverage for bodily injury, say, 100 slash 300 and they would also mention that towing was included. They'd even throw in a humorous story about muskrats and mice getting into your car and nibbling onto wires. Then they would casually slip in the idea of a $5,000 deductible. Surprisingly, the customers often responded positively, saying they loved the idea and were ready to buy. They'd ask about the price and express their eagerness to purchase. However, it's crucial to be cautious in such situations. Make sure you pay close attention to what the other party is actually offering. You don't want them to increase your deductibles to make the deal seem cheaper than it truly is. Mistake 2. Getting advice When it comes to insurance, you need guidance. Seek advice from someone experienced in the industry, like a knowledgeable parent. Not everyone learns about insurance, just like how you weren't taught to manage your money after school. Remember those days when you ended up with tons of Nerf guns and candy and an unexpected dentist bill? It's similar to insurance. No one taught you how to pick the right coverage. Maybe you hopped on your parents' policy because it was easy and now your friend is suggesting a great insurance company. But before you follow his advice, ask him about his coverage details. Most of the time, he won't have a clue about his liability limits, property damage coverage, vanishing deductibles, or other important benefits. If he does, great, you can consider his advice. But if he doesn't understand what he bought, be cautious about taking advice from him or anyone else. There's a lot of advice out there, so choose wisely. Hey there, before we reveal the top one on the list, make sure you tap that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This way, you won't miss out on our newest videos. You can decide if you want notifications for just a few videos or all of them. It's your choice. And if you're using your phone, don't forget to enable notifications in your settings. Mistake 1. Not choosing what you really need Here's a valuable tip for you when it comes to insurance. Once you discover the insurance deal you want, it's crucial to be clear about what you need. If you're hesitating due to financial or time concerns, that's all right. However, if you're unsure if it's the right choice as long as you've compared the coverage options and the price aligns with your preferences, don't hesitate. Some companies can reduce your bill significantly, sometimes even by $600 to $900. It's incredible how finding the right insurance company that suits your needs can lead to the best price. Keep in mind that the savings might not be that substantial for everyone. Most people typically save around $400 to $800, 
when they switch to the right insurance company. Now that you've learned about the top 8 mistakes people often make when purchasing car insurance, it's time to reflect on your own insurance decisions. Are you ready to secure the right coverage that suits your needs and protects you and your loved ones in the best possible way? Let us know in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on my latest content. And for more resources and links related to today's topics, be sure to check out the description below. Thank you for watching and we look forward to reading your comments and engaging with you in the next video.